And so face tight and acute tight, face tight is one of my most favorite procedures to perform because the patient satisfaction is super, super high. The results are crazy good, and it does not require surgical um, excision, so people think you're like some type of magician. Um, of course, we know that uh, face and this market of facial rejuvenation is one of the bigger markets out there. Um, most people, all this is showing you that most people would say, hey, if there was a minimally invasive option to address my neck, I would do that. So in comes face tight. It is the little brother to body tight. It works in the exact same way in terms of the safety, the functionality. It's just in a smaller handpiece designed for a smaller area. Now, can you use this face tight handpiece in other areas besides your face? Of course. If it makes sense to do this Silly little bra line roll that everyone hates. Yeah, that's a great place for face tight. Above the knees, that's a great place for face tight. So the application is not um, isolated to the face and neck. You can use it wherever makes sense and wherever seems appropriate. But at the, at the end of the day, you can use a 16 gauge needle entry point or a small little two millimeter punch biopsy is what I use at the earlobe and at the submental crease. And you infiltrate with numbing or tumescent and then you, um, you do this treatment. The same principles apply in terms of safety, application, use. Let me show you a video is what I'm trying to get to. This is the access points. I don't use this one or this one. I use three. I use one at the earlobe, each earlobe, and one at the submental crease. And then I don't use any at the um, pregial sulcus and none on the neck. Like, I don't need them because I can get to everywhere I need to get to through those three. Um, so the reason why InMode kind of proposes that you make a incision or an access point in the pre sulcus right here is because of the marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve exits, very superficial, at a line anterior to the marionette. So I'll say that again. So the marge, you can see at a line anterior to the marionette, exits the subpotential space and comes superficial. So this is where you can ding it with heat. So if you go anterior to the marionette, you're kind of in danger zone. So InMode says, hey, instead of working from the earlobe towards danger, which is signified by this red triangle, we want you to put a stab right here and work away from danger. Does that make sense? The problem with a stab right here is it's a pretty visible stab if your patient doesn't scar well. So you're, putting a, uh, you're kind of putting a scar right on the outside of the jowl in the pre sulcus. So all I do is I make sure, this is a well-hidden one at the earlobe, that I'm not going past my marionette line and then we're safe. 